waited all my life for someone like you to show. Now that you're mine, it's so hard to take things slow. Happy New Year's, everyone. Welcome to 2024. I'm so thankful you clicked on this video, and I'm very excited to start the new year with you guys. We had a very low-key New Year's Eve. We watched a fun movie, and then we had a Nerf gun fight with my boys until it was time for them to go to bed. And then me and my husband stayed up and watched our own little movie, and then we went to bed as well. So definitely a low-key year for us this year. Some years we hang out with family or friends. It really just depends on my husband's work schedule. Some days he has one day that he works and then the other years he's off both days. I never really know. This year we did keep it pretty simple. I'd love to hear how you guys celebrated New Year's Eve or if you celebrate. Let me know in the comments what your guys' family does. Here I'm putting on what I call my winter garland. Basically it's just Christmas decor that I repurpose for winter. I take a lot of stuff that has kind of flocking on it or snow, maybe some pine cones. I love snowflakes. Anything that just screams winter and it's not coming off too much like Christmas. I try to keep up until probably, I don't know, it, dip, it changes every single year. It's really whenever I get tired of looking at it. This year, I was loving my Christmas tree, and honestly, I struggled to take down some of my Christmas decor. In previous years, it came down pretty quick, and I think it's because my kids have gotten a little older, and I've just been able to relax a little bit more and not be as overwhelmed with my house. I will probably keep my Christmas tree up without the pops of red for another week or so and then I'll take that down along with my nativity set and I'll box those all up and put out a little bit more winter decor and bring my olive tree back downstairs and put that in a pot. But for now, I'm just really loving the twinkling lights and having a garland above my fireplace. I just wanted to keep my living room as cozy as I could this time of year. No matter how many times I hang up garlands, I don't think it ever gets easier. You just kind of have to mess with it. You have to move things around. You have to start over. Garlands can be tricky to blend multiple different pieces together to make it look like one. And every single year I, you know, when I record myself hanging these up, I watch these back and I just, I think every year I'll get faster at this, but it really is kind of a work in progress. This garland is from Pottery Barn. There was just one year that I decided that if there was one piece of decor to splurge on, it's the thing that everybody focuses on, which is our mantle. And so I decided to try to find a really high quality one and Pottery Barn is usually known for very high quality pieces. However, this came in the mail and the flocking falls off of it. It's very pretty. Like in person, it's even better on camera. It's really hard to see all of the details. But this thing is covered in snow. It's got little pine cones on it. It is a gorgeous garland. However, the flocking on it just falls off. It is all over the place. Every time I use it, more and more falls off. And I just feel like it's not going to have any of it left on there. They just didn't attach it very well. So I am not pleased with this garland. And it was honestly the last time I really tried to buy anything from a place like that. Because it's just so expensive for what you're getting. Maybe I'll test it out again. But I like sticking to Walmart or Target mostly. And then finding some pieces from Home Goods or TJ Maxx here and there. I do enjoy walking around thrift stores and trying to find some unique pieces that are really cheap. However, I don't know if it's the location I'm in, but there aren't a ton of options unless you drive um, a ways. And then also they're very picked over. So I don't have a ton of thrift stores that I can really go into. And there are some small businesses that have some antiques, but they're actually just as expensive most of the times as Pottery Barn in the area I live in. So I think it really just depends on where you live and what options you have but I find most of my stuff comes from just simple stores almost everybody has. 
You guys will have to let me know where you guys get your decor from, if there's favorite stores that you have, or if you get most of your decor passed down to you from family. We don't have a lot of stuff that has been passed down to us from family yet. A lot of our great grandparents and my kids' grandparents are still alive. We're very blessed to have young grandparents and young great grandparents, so they get to be a part of our kids' lives still. Don't wanna wait another day, don't wanna fire to fade to glow. We're going under the weather, harder than ever, higher than high we go. Sorry, I was in your way a little bit in this clip. I was arranging these and I should have placed the camera a little bit better so you could see me mess around with the vase, but I'll do better next time I decorate and I apologize for that. You'll notice in some of my vases, the stems are looking a little bit sparse and that is just because I slowly buy decor every single season and I buy one or two pieces every single season and I kind of stick to my own budget that I set for myself. So some of my vases won't be super full looking and I'm hoping over time I'll add more stems and things will look a little bit more full. You'll actually see sometimes when I decorate, I just put vases out or have empty spots in my house where decor will be someday. And that's just because, like I said, I buy two pieces every single season usually. So sometimes when I'm decorating for a season, I have maybe one decor piece or one of my vases doesn't have stems in it yet. And that's why. Now the tables are turned and I climb right out as well. Oh, someone grand and I plea like a coin in a wishing well. We're going under the weather, harder than ever, higher than high we go.
I started with Heavy Duty Degreaser. It's the Method brand. I love that stuff so much. It does a great job getting all of the grease off. And then I did still go in with some Dawn Power Wash and take my sponge and very lightly so that I didn't scratch anything, go through and get some of the stuck on like dust particles or food particles that were so stuck on there that just taking a cloth with Heavy Duty Degreaser didn't get it off. After I was done, I took took some of my stainless steel cleaner it's like the Weinmann's or something like that and I used it with a paper towel I do not like that stuff it is awful I really really dislike it it works okay on a couple of my stainless steel things in the kitchen but it does not work on all of them it's very streaky the spray doesn't spray very well it kind of splatters everywhere I just as you can see from the final clip it did leave streaks all over the place I really love like taking baby oil or something like that. That can leave it looking really nice, but I don't have any of that on hand right now. If you guys have a stainless steel spray that you guys love, please let me know because I am still on a search for my staple stainless steel cleaner. So that would be such a help for me if you guys had recommendations to try out. just giving you guys a little tour. As you can see, some of the vases are looking a little bit sparse, like I said, so I'll be adding more and more to that every year. I love having a garland above my mantle all through winter time, so I'm excited that it's still cozy in here, and we still have Legos on the table, so ignore that, and there's probably some Nerf gun bullets still somewhere on the floor, but for the most part, it's looking clean, and it feels like a great fresh start to the new year. 
Next, we will be moving on to packing up and putting away some of the Christmas decor. So everything I kind of took down is getting put away in bins. Garlands are being put away in my Christmas tree bag. Just because this is the first year I'm going to attempt to store some of my garlands with my Christmas tree. And the ones that don't fit or I'm worried about getting crushed, I'll transfer to a bin. But I wanted to see if I could free up space in bins by putting all of my garlands with the Christmas tree this year. So those are going to be put away in the Christmas tree bag and then I'm just going to try to fit all of my Christmas decor into one bin and then all of my Christmas decor that goes on shelving and stuff like that in another bin. So I'm hoping to go down to two Christmas bins and a Christmas tree bag with all of my garlands in there as well. We just entered into my garage. If you weren't here for previous videos, what I'm standing on is just our fishing boat. Um, I'm precariously standing on the edge of it, so I'm being as careful as I can, but I just wanted to get this done, and I'm a very impatient person, and so I don't like to wait around and wait for my husband to do it. I just like to get it done, especially if he's working a long shift. I just want to get in here and put everything away, so I'm just trying to be careful and balance as best I can. If you guys needed a way to store your wreaths, these bags are amazing. The zippers are great. I've had no issues with them. I think it comes in a two-pack and I got two two-packs and one of them's actually still empty. So I love them a lot. My favorite part about them is that I don't have to pull all of them down to see what's in each bag. They're see-through and that means that I can just pull whatever I need for that season. 
Here we're moving into the office again and this bag here is going to be filled up with all of my Christmas tree decor when I'm ready to take down the Christmas tree and then we'll be putting all of those garlands into the Christmas tree bag in just a minute and I'm going to be carrying those things out to the garage and I'm not going to be putting them up with all of the bins just because I will be needing them in about a week or so. This video is definitely a little shorter than my normal videos and if you guys need more cleaning motivation to reset your home after the new year, I highly recommend going back and watching some of my videos I released this week. I released two extra videos this week than I normally do and one of them's a great deep cleaning video and the other is a good room by room whole house cleaning if you need some more motivation. My next two videos that I put out will be deep cleaning. I have one video that I'm going to be making on cleaning my car. After the holidays and all of the snacks and driving all over the place, your car definitely gets destroyed. And so part of the new year is cleaning out your car so you can have a fresh start in your home and outside of it. So that will be in one of the videos. And then another one of my videos will just be going around my home and doing some deep cleaning tasks. I also have to deep clean my master bathroom and clean some grout so definitely a lot more motivation coming next week I got a lot of new subscribers this past week and if you're new I just want to say welcome I appreciate you joining my channel so much and I hope you find the motivation you're looking for I'm excited to get to know you guys in the comments every time I see a comment and get to know you guys and your families a little bit better it just makes me so happy reading comments and getting interact with interact with everybody makes me just so excited for possibilities for the future and just growing my channel and growing a wonderful community here. Everybody's been so amazing in the comments and I just find everybody's been so uplifting that it makes me very excited for where my channel could go. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm going to give you guys a break from my chattiness and play some music while I clean up the rest of my office.